Hey, good morning, good people. How are you all doing? Today I'm about to do a fragrance review on a fragrance which doesn't have so many reviews, but it's a hidden gem. Many people are interested in this fragrance. Uh, many people ask me to look at this, especially from subcontinent and also from states. They said, since this is my favorite fragrance, one of my favorite fragrances anyway, Armani Eau Porum, and then also Armani Eau de Nuit Oud. Also did review on Eau de Nuit, Just de Nuit. And I had to review this one and I have only one left, that is the Aromas. Uh, so Eau de Aromas. So you guys know which I'm talking about from the title you can see. It's this one, the green box and the green bottle. It's called Eau de Cedre. Okay, Cedra or Cedre. So this is basically a cedar based fragrance and very unique fragrance, okay, very potent fragrance. So we'll be looking at this one. I'll let you know my um, experience of wearing that one and what to expect from it, okay? So first of all, thanks to Avik Bhai once again. He gave me this time two fragrances. And the one that's coming up in upcoming days, <clears throat> that's one of the fragrances I have uh, done the original review of. Uh, this is a flanker of that. Givenchy on Gentleman Only Intense, okay? This is another bomb of a fragrance. Expect uh, some other, like some unique review on that one as well. So first of all, Armani Old uh, Purom, this is from Giorgio Armani, the house is Giorgio Armani and Armani has different lines, they have the Code line, they have uh, Armani uh, Aqua Digio line, this line they have the, uh, what's the other one, uh, they have few other, Emporia Armani, they have few other fragrances, okay, so uh, basically like Mania, what is the other one, Armani, um, I have few other fragrances, so basically what my journey started with this line was this one i sniffed it it's one of the best lemon based fragrance and a little bit vetiver it's a very nice warm weather scent and it was launched i think in 1980s somewhere then they relaunched this in 2000 uh, something 5 or 15 i don't remember but i have a reformulated version new version older version would have a black base okay that is the one they uh, didn't reformulate the juice but i kept trying the other ones i did try the aromas and i think so far from the line the one that really impressed me is this one. All of them have this common, uh, the darker ones have the common DNA of uh, like a cardamom. So really makes it very spicy, masculine. This is really like oud at, at its finest, you know, like designer fragrance level. You cannot get better fragrance than this. Really beautiful, spicy, masculine, cardamom and oud, okay. So I wanted to try the green one because green one is very hard to find in Bangladesh and it's expensive. Big bottle, uh, the one I'm about to review, it's going to cost you about $85 I think as far as I remember $85 for big bottle small bottle could be like 50 ml maybe that's around 60 bucks okay so here you go the box this box actually it's a green very eye-catching color and it has that base that replicates the bottle silver here okay 100 ml EDT I think EDT yes EDT and uh, not much there's the Giorgio Armani logo up there back there it's like some more information so this is kind of relatively uh, more pricey fragrance really have to do your research and try it before you buy it because uh, fragrance that's cost you like $85 you shouldn't blind buy a fragrance okay here's the bottle very beautiful green glass okay very beautifully done okay same bottle exact same bottle as Armani Odinui but I like the color of the glass it has silver black green combo okay Armani is written in uh, white and Eau de Cedre I think I'm saying that right I haven't seen anyone reviewing it I mean, I haven't seen anybody's review. The batch code would be here, the back. Under is this, I think it's plastic, but it looks very premium with that. Uh, like, it looks almost like a metal base or something like that, it looks nice. But the cap is not fit. <coughs> you can pick it up, no problem, but no magnetic cap, okay? So this is kind of like old school classic style of bottle and really is very mature fragrance, okay? So I'm wearing this in my hand for some time okay and uh, i'll spray this once again to tell you the notes prayer works really fine on this check out the sprayer sprayer works really good huge sprayer okay this one's uh, uh sprayer wise how much it leaves like gives you the juice you shouldn't use more than two to three sprays it will be good enough to last you the whole day last tip on this on shirt it's more than 10 hours okay on me in the summertime i don't think you should wear this maybe mild cool weather when the winter starts it's gonna give you beastly performance both longevity and projection so let me tell you the notes and let it settle down on my hand and i'll talk about how it what i get from this so basic it starts with lemon i think ber bergamot or as well as a uh, sage is as the opening the heart you get violet leaves cardamom and think uh, 
there's caraway or something like a cumin yeah cumin and there's suede leather at the base cedar tea and i think there's some woody notes okay so cedar plus some other woody notes but what i really get from it first of all that first thing that hits me i was trying to get it what is it because the opening is very unique i mean if you sniff it you'll be right away like hmm, wow you know it's it's not like your typical other fragrances that's being offered in the market uh, currently uh, the fragrance wouldn't like be like oh it smells like sauvage it smells like you know uh, fahrenheit or something like that but it does give you kind of like a feel that you get from fahrenheit like fragrances like rocky mountain wood d square he wood zinnia womb if you like those the violet i get the violet right up top i don't know why that's supposed to be the base but i get the violet in the opening with the some of the lemon citrus the sage i'm not quite sure i mean it's something herbaceous quality in this but it could be i'm smelling cumin or sage either one so it there's nothing uh, like pinpoint i can do pinpoint except cardamom which will pop up a bit later but then i also get in the opening it it gets a uh, kind of like tea like you know like if you know gucci purong too if you know uh, azaro um what is the other azaro fragrance there's one azaro not visit there's one azaro fragrance i'll put the name below that one has a beautiful tea note azaro from legend has a tea note um so this fragrance is that the tea note this one has the tea note and it's very black tea you know it's like dark darjeeling tea or something of uh, like sri lankan tea you know uh, the, the the tea note if you like the note of tea this is a very exotic fragrance for that it it smells like a expensive niche fragrance and right away it's not going to be favored by teenagers because it's a sort of like a mature fragrance to my nose it's i would recommend it highly over 30 and plus or 25 over age for men it's extremely confident you can see guy he is wearing this with full confidence it's not casual you can either go for work with it it's very work appropriate but do not go more than two sprays with this okay one on the chest and perhaps one on the shirt it will project like this but do not put three four sprays then you will start disturbing your colleagues because it will last on you all day in the ac room <clears throat> so the fragrance also develops to be uh, the other side that goes like i feel like a little bit green in this but uh, like it's it's not like polo green or jaguar for him like jaguar for men that sort of green but it has that would see like sort of you go to the forest and you have some uh, you know like go hiking you know you just climbing like not trees <laughs> you climbing mountains and stuff you go backpacking and all that and you have this big station wagon you know or you have your uh, let's say um, big four wheeler and stuff so you go for that i think that's sort of good adventurous fragrance like this square he would uh, i think this is a good outdoor scent because you get to smell that sweet leather to pop up you know so it has that green of tea leaves it may be going to a valley that is a tea garden okay like in malaysia they have cameron highlands they have beautiful tea garden by the you know mountain and stuff you can go there you can smell fresh tea leaves and you can go to the uh the where they make the tea like the what what you call the processing place <laughs> early morning my, my i didn't have my tea so words are not popping up easily so basically where uh, they produce the tea you know like the factory factory Okay, factory tea factory. So if you go to the tea factory, you see the processing tea, and they have different like leaves. They have processing processed ones. They have the packed ones. You can smell the fresh tea. And if you take in the up there in the mountains, let's say a little bit uh, cold weather, and mountains will be a little bit higher up from the ground level, so it's kind of cool. So imagine you smelling tea and having fresh tea, just plucked from the garden, or uh, not plucked from the garden. You can't drink that. But let's say the the freshest batch they served you. and it's a little bit dew a little bit cold a little bit cloudy and you're drinking tea you're smelling like you know your leather pouch or bag at the side you get all that feel so it gets a little bit smoky also i think not really that smoky but it has sort of a incense feel but not smoky like manser uh, uh, red tobacco or something like that i i smell something like maybe the smoke from the tea yeah so yeah i think i covered everything more or less uh, is there anything else that i missed on uh yep the base Uh, talking about the base this is a cedar based fragrance which it says here eau de cedre uh, so the cedar is at the base so a lot of woody notes and the tree that's us talking about the tree when you are taking like walk and hike and stuff like that through the jungle and you have uh, your gear pack you cook in the middle of the forest and stuff this is the fragrance for you very very confident there is nothing skanky or nose burning in it there's nothing alcohol in it very high class fragrance for very mature nose okay let's just say very mature nose 
uh, seasons, I would say mild cold weather, in the cold weather also, but high heat, just wear one spray. Let's just say that they really enjoy. The last thing before I finish, this fragrance has this uh, magical property. I wore it once for the first or second day. I think I was wearing it. I was going out for breakfast in the morning. It was kind of uh, cloudy, overcast conditions. And I totally forgot, you know, when I was coming back, I was getting this smell, which it was like after two hours. The dry down came after two hours. And I was getting this beautiful smell of cedar. You know, it's like a cedar sort of woody, uh, kind of like exotic smell, I think mixes with the tea. And I was like, who's smelling that good? You know, like I was looking around, then I realized this fragrance changed what it was in the opening. Citrus things gone away and then the herbaceous quality is gone away. But the tea and the suede and the leather combo sort of, it's very posh. It's very smooth. You know, it's very smooth because I'm saying this, Armani could easily make this their signature line or a niche line. People would pay money for it because it's quality, you know. So if you want a quality fragrance, which has nice transformation, which has uh, creativity, this is definitely up there. Uh, the cardamom, it's not as pronounced as this one, not as spicy as Eau de Nui Oud, but it's also there. So if you like cardamom, tea, cedar, suede, and you get a little bit of, uh, you know, like violet leaves, kind of like those uh, fresh fragrances, but it's semi-fresh, semi-dark, semi-green, take a look at this fragrance. It's amazing. <laughs> is this, uh, I'm not gonna say it's better because they are kind of different kind of fragrance. This is a 10, so is this. It's, I'm not gonna give it longevity, everything is just mind blowing. Just give it a try at the mall and highly recommended by me if you're looking for a mature fragrance, okay? An outdoor fragrance. Armani Eau de Cedre, Cedra, Cedra. Yeah, however it is, I don't know. <laughs> uh, this is a perfect 10 for me. It's an amazing quality juice, but do not blind by this. This is something that you should try first. And then if you like the transformation rather than the try down, then go for it. Performance wise, you will never be disappointed. Our money, all the cetera. That's the review for today. Thanks for watching, and thanks Avi by once again for uh, sponsoring the video with the bottle. Very kind gesture all the time. You make me smile. I don't have to like go out of fragrances just to do reviews because of my brothers. Salute all of you. What an awesome fragrance community in Bangladesh. See you soon. Have a very nice day. Bye bye, guys.